Today we're speaking with Andrea Meyer, Director, Kensington Valley Chamber of Commerce, Tina Archer, Lyon Township Downtown Economic Development Coordinator, and Nate Mack, City of South Lyon DDA Economic Development Director. Welcome all. Thank you. Thanks. So here today we're gonna to talk about the Love for Lyon campaign. That's something I've heard about uh, talking to Mayor Dan Pelchat uh, several months ago, and obviously a lot has been done uh, with the campaign, but let's just start at the very beginning for our viewers here and just talk about the Love for Lion campaign. What is it all about? How to get it started? And what is what is its objective? Uh, Andrea, why don't we start with you? Well, before it was a campaign, it was a phone call uh, to Mayor Dan, Tina, eight to you know some folks in the Lion Township and uh, South Lion communities, just to to sort of address the fact that I think we are all working in silos, really just trying to assist our businesses paddling through. PPP, you know, information and grant applications and um, PPE, you know, um, acquisition and things like that. And it was difficult, I think, for the businesses. It was overwhelming for them, overwhelming for us. And I just, the thought process was how can we join together and come together as a unit to just determine what they needed and try to um, help them with that. So we were very lucky at the time, which Tina can talk about afterwards, she had begun um, a Facebook page uh, dedicated to assisting businesses in the community. So we sort of utilized that and brought that in, added information to our websites, and then um, just sort of became this, this group, which parlayed into the Love for Lion campaign. It was a task force that became a campaign that we really just wanted to drive into the community to continue to support right. our, our business members. Right, so that's interesting. So again, it started out more of just helping businesses respond to COVID and, and, and kind of getting some yeah. PPE and so forth. And, but then it kind of evolved a little bit more. So tell me about that timeline from evolving from more of an assistance type thing to more of a more of a economic recovery or, or a portion where we can heart, start to help the businesses here in the Lyon, in Lyon Township area. Um, well, I could speak to that. What we found out what, when Andrea's initially got the task force going, we met a few times and we talked about um, the best way to communicate with our businesses to help them with the information that was being provided through the county and the state. Um, and, and we figured we had a good approach on how to help them uh, utilizing that Facebook page. But we also wanted to take into consideration this recovery mode, which was trying to get the consumers and the residents to feel a little bit more comfortable coming to the businesses. Right. We, we talked about putting together a comprehensive marketing plan. And instead of having the chamber and the city and the township DDAs trying to do their own thing, we thought it would be best for us to all come together, pool all of our resources, all of the information we have on all of the businesses and, um, and sit down and just come up with some ideas. So everyone kind of came to the table and bought a number of different concepts and we settled in on our love for Lion. And we kept it Lion so that it would include South Lion and Lion Township. Right. Also knowing that the chamber is serves many businesses um, in the community as well. Um, we thought that would be the best marketing campaign to go with. And of course, you know, with the pandemic being serious and affecting so many people in so many different ways, we thought, why not spread the love at this time. And that's why we, we embraced this uh, slogan and mm -hmm. the start of our, our campaign that then um, moved into a dine local shop approach as well. And we right. started, started ordering marketing materials. We started ordering signs and um, started distributing that information and getting the word out to the community and to the businesses. Right. So besides yourselves, because obviously it sounds like a nice uh, uh, set of a uh, very collaborative effort across different organizations, 
obviously the DDAs and different uh, uh, chamber of commerces have been involved, but what other organizations have been involved as part of this overall you know, campaign and recovery process, as well as the you know, initial response to, to COVID? I think really for us, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's really just been the two DDAs and the chamber coming together to just, it, it really did start as sort of a catch all to just try to help these people just going backwards a little bit, climb through. It was a very intense um, time climbing through those uh, the PPPs and the, and the grants and things like that, the government at all levels <laughs> was just um, just throwing balls into the air saying like what would sit right. I mean, we all know that just to, and to try to figure out um, even just in terms of the personal protective equipment, like what was required and people, there was a lot of panic and a lot of, so we haven't really that I can think of unless correct me if we had other organizations, but I think it was just it helped us so much to come together and then to eventually survey them to see what they needed. Because, I mean, I think we have all spent, you know, many days and nights on the phone with panicked and frightened business owners, right. you know, a yep. lot of times in tears and that just, we felt for them and we wanted to. So in terms of other, you might correct me. Okay. But the businesses obviously have been able to be a part of this. So how have they yeah. kind of come yeah. in? How many businesses have you been able to, uh, you know, get involved in, in the campaign and, and, you know, speak to some more of those benefits that you've heard from the businesses and obviously, you know, first allocating them to PPE and other types of, of uh, items that they are necessary to just kind of, you know, react to, to COVID. But then as you start the recovery process, what has been some of the benefit for the businesses here in the local area? So I think one of the benefits that we've been able to provide as, you know, working as a DDA or a chamber is to help our local businesses understand, you know, the different requirements, the different grants that are out there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have contacts with Oakland County or the state of Michigan, and then we can pass that information on to them, hopefully in a manner that is kind of taking some of the load off of their shoulders. Right. So, you know, we, there's a grant that comes up and if I need, you know, if somebody needs a letter of recommendation or help with the grant, then we're able to provide that assistance. Um, we passed out over, I think we've had over, I know in the city of South Lyon, more than 90 businesses where we've given our campaign materials to. So, you, you know, you can see the signs yeah. in different business windows that say, show your love for Lyon. Um, you know, that was a couple of task force members that took the initiative to get those out to people. And, yeah. uh, and so we just mentioned that, Steve okay, Kennedy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what I was going to say. That's where I've seen a lot of the pictures of the different businesses with the signs up in front of their businesses and so forth. Again, it's nice to see the community come together and, you know, really kind of, you know, help, you know, spur on that support for the businesses. But kind of on the flip side then, you know, how can I as a community member participate? You know, how can I be involved? You know, how can I show my support? So one of the things you can do is you can frequent the businesses that are in our community. And um, when you're there, this, this is an example of the, we call it the social media board. Mm -hmm. uh, businesses each received one of these and you can go into that place of business and take your picture with this board and then repost it onto your social media page and encourage people to come out. And it's just showing an example of how you want to participate. Um, last we were actually at the uh, farmer's market in South Line. We had a little booth set up there and we were promoting um, this campaign and encouraging people to get involved. Um, you can also order a t-shirt. We are selling t-shirts. They are part of a fundraising effort. Uh, the t-shirts are being uh, made at uh, Big Frog in Brighton. Mm -hmm. They've with us. And what's nice about that is you can go onto their uh, site and you can order the shirts in exactly the sizes you want. You can get short sleeve, long sleeve, um, any color that um, is available. So you can customize this and you can wear that then around the community right. for support. And at the same time, for every uh, shirt that's ordered, $10 goes back into our fundraising coffers so that we can turn around and take that and promote it with other marketing material. Right. And we should note that Big Frog, they're members of our Kensington Valley Community Chamber of Commerce, right? So they, uh, I said community, they're, um, they're uh, part of the Green Oak area, which we also serve. 
Yep. And then uh, they, they, the owners are on the area. So they are very much, when you say Brighton, I want to be really, really clear that's Green Oak and they're very committed to our chamber and our communities. Sure. And yeah, we use some other local vendors in the process. Um, mm -hmm. We had a local vendor make all of these social media boards for us. We had um, another company print out all of the posters that go in the windows. Um, We've uh, ordered directly through these companies for the feather flags. I know, uh, I think we ordered something around 120 15 foot feather flags that say shop local and dine local. And those were roots of our communities um, all last summer through um, the fall. And so we plan to bring those out again this year in the hopes of uh, just keeping the shop local, dine local front and first and foremost in people's minds you know, as they're driving around. And this is all part of the show your love for uh, Lion campaign. And then of course, anytime you're, you see something wonderful in the community, you can say how much you, you love what you just saw and do the hashtag, um, hashtag love the number four lion. Yep. And that's not showing your participation. Great. Now, obviously, obviously the community, the community can get involved and so forth and the businesses are involved, but you know, can you kind of bring it to life as, you know, any sto a story or two that might, you know, demonstrate the positive impact of this campaign, either for the business or for the community as a, at, as a lar at large? I can speak a little bit to that. Just one element of that. It was really helpful for me personally when we had one of the um, members on our task force is uh, Lisa Dill, one of our, um, our uh, council members in mm -hmm. downtown South Line, and she's created surveys for us. So the surveys, when they go out to the community, and by the way, there's a new one coming out, so look for that. Um, that gives us a lot of great information. And when we were able as a chamber to receive an Oakland County grant, it really helped me to um, contact different members um, in the community and the chamber to figure out, because I'd seen the survey, because I'd talked to you know, individuals specifically, knowing what they were after it was, you know, maybe less PPE at the time and more as we parlayed into needing some of the cleaning materials or the um, uh, igloo pieces or things like that. Uh, a heater was needed in one particular right. incident. So we were able to um, support that via that grant and give some of those things and knowing who to go to. I wasn't just blindly tossing it out there and hoping that somebody responded. I was able to say, we have this, could this be a service we were able to to create that because we had this knowledge yep you know excellent excellent good and obviously this has not gone unnoticed because i i also understand that uh, an award was uh, issued or, or won on behalf of the love for lion campaign uh, tina can you mention a little bit about that award and how what does that pertains to right so the michigan downtown association that both lion township and south line are members of um have an annual conference and at each conference they um, ask for nominations on uh, campaigns and uh, we submitted this Love for Lion campaign to them for consideration and explained how it was very special to our community because instead of it just affecting one downtown development authority it, it, it was our entire community for, for both the Lion Township and the city. And um, I think they really appreciated the collaboration that had taken place and how quickly we were able to form our group and be able to execute a comprehensive campaign um, and be able to show those results um, as quickly as we did. And so the, they were kind enough to recognize um, the efforts of this task force and they issued us um, the award for the best marketing campaign for populations above 10,000. I think that's right, Nate, if you want to correct. That's correct. Yep. And so um, our organizations, um, the Michigan Downtown um, Association creates a plaque and they put it onto a brick. Wow. And the brick, the foundation of all of the ideas and concepts that help to keep downtowns operating. And um, they issued that award to both the city and, and um, the RDDA and the city CDA, as well as the chamber, Andrea was present too for that award. And we're very proud of the efforts of this task force for the amount of work and time and effort that's been put into this. And that's, it was, it was nice. It was nice to be recognized um, as the community um, showing that 
we really do care. We really do love. <laughs> and and we wanted it was it was nice that it was recognized um, by by the state and um, this organization in the state and and so that was a good thing. And I think it's been you know kind of a, a breath of fresh air for our three organizations who may not always come together to you know come together to provide this relief for everybody in our area. And it's been it's been good. It's been good working with. Uh, Tina and Andrea and everybody else on the task force. And it's been a, a real positive thing. Excellent, excellent. So now if I'm a business, I wanna find out some more about the campaign, maybe I've not heard about or not gotten involved. Where can I go to find out more about what, uh, what there's to offer and more information about the program? Well, you can contact any three of us and we can provide you with information or you could go to uh, our Facebook pages, uh, either the Downtown South Lion or the uh, Lion Township uh, DDA page or the Kensington Valley Chamber page. You can get information there. Or you could just search on Facebook, hashtag love for lion, and you'll find hundreds of posts with people, you know, posting about, about the campaign. So there's plenty of opportunities for people. And now that we've developed the new Facebook page just for the campaign, I think our goal is to at least to get that moving and get that, you know, more uh, prevalent in the community because right. we were just so focused on the, you know, the cleanup and now it's, this is really positive and exciting. So yep. having that. I think, yeah. Exactly. And then again, if, if I'm in the community, so maybe I'm not a business, but I'm a community member, how can I just find out more about what's going on or, or stay in touch again? Obviously I can follow the hashtag, go out to Facebook and do that. But again, is there any, any place else I could go to as a community member just to find out what's, what's happening? In our communities as a whole? Right, yeah. I know just, I think there are, it, We've got our different, um, I know Nate and Tina both have community calendars. We have a calendar. We're renovating our website right now. We can get you on the, um, the Chamber e-blast. And then right now too, with, I think Facebook is so, we really do a lot of our events and things like that that you see throughout the community. And as people are starting to create those again, I think you see a lot of those community events and creations like that. Facebook seems to be still that place that people go to see what's up it is yeah exactly yeah there's not a lot of in-person stuff going on right now so right we're still kind of in that that digital realm of Weird, things yeah yeah, yeah. And I encourage to stop by um the farmer's market hopefully we can have a presence again this year mm -hmm. um, with that and then uh as the task force continues to stay focused on uh moving forward uh, we may come up with events as uh, the rules change and allow for us to have more gatherings. Um, obviously, I would encourage people too to touch base with your favorite businesses, your business owners, um, the people um, in our downtowns and and around who who would love to hear from you. Right. Um, part of this Show Your Love for Lying campaign is an effort too to to meet the people behind the businesses, behind the restaurants, the the owners, the employees, just get to know them and 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 engage in them and, and ask them questions and and ask them how you can show your love. Um, there's a lot of really good ideas and this is a, a wonderful community and I think everybody has a lot to offer. And so I say, I would just encourage people to stay posted, um, like these pages, and that way they'll get notifications on what's coming up. Excellent. Get involved as you feel comfortable because we'll start mm -hmm. to, I mean, we have, Ribbon cuttings, I just scheduled two more ribbon cuttings as we come into the warmer weather. So we know we can at least be outside and socially distanced. We don't know exactly what's happening yet. Right. Our golf outing is scheduled June, June 3rd at Links of Novi, shameless plug. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Well, we'll come back and talk to you about that and further developments as the weather warms up. Yeah. And again, farmer's market opening up and so forth. And lots of great things going on. Uh, both, you know, locally, uh, as well as, you know, the, the immediate uh, surrounding area. And most certainly encourage each of our viewers to get out there, support your local businesses, uh, you know, shop local, dine local, and, and just, you know, get to know, you know, because the business owners are your neighbors and it's good to support your neighbors. So definitely. Well, any last thoughts before we kind of wrap things up here for today? None for Just thank you. Thank you. And it's been a real honor to serve with everybody. Terrific. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep. Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> yep, and thank you too. I'd, I would also like to note our um, other task force members who are on this call today. Um, that would be Steve Kennedy, who is um, 
an amazing person. On- He's out there in the community all the time. I love his Facebook post. Yeah. Right. Definitely someone who's got his feet on the ground and is out um, sharing that information. Very helpful. Um, also to Lisa Dilg, who Councilwoman Dilg, um, she's just been tremendous help, especially on the technology side and helping with our surveys to the businesses. And Carol Brandon, who is a, a city employee, um, she's been fantastic setting up all of our meetings and contributing and getting quotes for a lot of the products that we've been ordering. And um, I think, have I left anyone out? We had some other folks, like I know that the mayor was on board at first and then um, because of his work with the schools and trying to get all the kids online, um, he had to take a, a little step back there. But uh, we've had a couple of people come and go on the, the task force, but those are primarily the main folks that have been participating and just want to thank everyone for their time and effort as well. Excellent. Like I, like I said, it's been a great team effort, uh, pulling together different organizations to really you know support local businesses. So that's wonderful. So Andrea, Tina, Nate, Thank you for coming out here today, and we'll look forward to catching up with you, with you guys later on in the spring or early summer to find out how things are progressing. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.